Hey, I'm Shirley, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the June um, Japan Crate Box. This is the premium box. Lots of goodies in here. Um, a little behind because summer's been so hectic and so busy. Um, anyway, in this little booklet that comes in here, there uh, just gives you instructions at the beginning. There's a do-it-yourself kit which you're going to laugh because it is funny. Um, I did it ahead of time so that way, but I'll go through it and everything. So that way it had to go in a uh, refrigerator for a few hours. So um, anyway, there's prizes you can win. Uh, just a little bit about Japan in June. And of course a few of the items that are in here. Um, also, the list of all of the yummy goodies that are in here. There are three types of boxes. There's a mini, an original, and a premium. This is the premium box. I always get the premium because it had all the stuff in it. So, um, and first thing is, hold on one second, move something out of the way here. And the first thing is a big, huge bag. These are an and Pan Man soft cracker. Um, it says these, it's a big, huge, huge bag here. And these are all individually wrapped. Oh. They're all individually wrapped like this. Put a bunch in here. Let's see. These are, it says these soft rice crackers are a tribute to and Japan, Japan's, Japan's most popular children's TV program since 1970. They're regular rice crackers. Smell good. Mmm. I love rice crackers. Not sure if these are a little bit. So like a little salty to them but they're really not too much overpowering or anything and these are really good so i like those those are definite um next thing a soft candy soft soft soda soft candy um let me find out mm, these are so yummy i've had these before i'm gonna get a little bag of these and it says these jelly bean like candies are softer than they appear and will be sure to melt in your mouth. Oh, yes, they are so good. Um, if you've had any of like Japan's um, soda flavored candy, it is extremely good. These are all white little round balls, and you can see I'm smushing it. That's how soft it is. Mmm. So, so good. I love those. Mmm. Those are so yummy. I love those. Oh, Just had to get different tastes out of my mouth here. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, coughing here. Is triangular um, cracker vegetables, basically vegetable crackers, but they say everything backwards, kind of. What do you want? I'm gonna watch. No, either you join in or you don't watch. No, I'm not doing that yet. I ain't to it. They're a pack of little tiny triangular vegetable crackers. These are actually pretty good. Okay, are you gonna be in here or what? I want to try one of those out. Go get me a spoon. It's like we could try that. Okay. Didn't you try yours? Yeah. <laughs> it's my son, Aiden. He's... Okay, it's just little triangular shaped vegetable crackers. Mm. Got like a little tray in here of them. You know, a little tray in here. These are super good. I love those. I've had them before. They are yummy. Um, uh oh. 
I think my son's joining me here. Not yet, buddy. Don't knock this off. We're not to that yet. So I got two more things before we try that. He's, he's, he's anxious to try the do-it-yourself kit because it's funny. Um, the next thing is Machi Taro Salt. Um, okay. I've had these before. Um, I'm going to pack of these. They're almost, they almost taste like, it tastes like something that's like deep fried. Um, there's little pieces. Almost just like deep fried bread or something. Don't touch it yet. They're okay. It was not something I'd sit down and eat every day. It's a little salty, but not bad. Um, the next thing. Hold on, gotta get a drink here. It's called Ice Stick Lipstick. Um, I believe there's different flavors and stuff. Looks like it shows three assortments on here. <laughs> He's like prowling. He's anxiously waiting. Anxiously waiting because it's so funny. You're going to laugh. Oh, and it looks like I got the orange, white, and pink one. And there, as you can see, again, there are different ones. I want to try it now. What? Ew? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like sherbet. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Come here. Right. Well, then you ain't getting it. Okay. <laughs> it tastes like sherbet. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's good, ain't it? Well, we'll put it away for for a second here. We get to try the next good thing. We get to try that. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right, so everything I just showed you was in the mini box. Now, the mini, everything that's in the mini, everything that is in the original is also in the premium. So, and everything that's in the mini is in the original. Um, this next thing, it's funny, super hilarious. It's a do-it-yourself kit. It is Shin Chan Puri Puri Pudding. Um, if you've seen this one before... This is a hilarious kit. It's the shape of a star, a butt, and the head. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, it does look like a butt. It is hilarious. Yeah. In this pack comes this little tray. Yeah, you can make Play-Doh. And yes. as you can see, it has the butt-shaped tray in here. Um, <laughs> this little corner one here, this one, I had, actually I had two kits, so I did both of them. Um... And you, you're supposed to cut this. Hold on. <laughs> He's itching. You're supposed to cut this, cut, uh, cut up the side here and cut this corner tray out because this is the one you use for like measuring. You have to get like a little microwave cup or bowl, something small to, um, because you do have to microwave this. Um, you have to measure out five of these containers of milk. Um, there comes a blue packet in here. And you fill that, um, you put that in there also with the milk, mix it up real good. <laughs> And it says to put it in there for a minute. Um, <laughs> I did the first packet and the first mix, and it like for a minute exploded in my microwave. So I had to clean it out and make another one here. Good thing I had a couple of these. Um, hold on, Mister. <laughs> and what you had to do is um, you had to do it like every thirty seconds, and then just stir it up. It says put it in for an extra thirty seconds after the minute. Well, it, I did not even need the extra 30 second, seconds after the minute because it would have exploded all over my microwave again. Um, so I stopped it like, I did it 30 seconds, stirred it up, and then in another 30 seconds, but it the last actually 25 seconds because the last 5 seconds it was Boom. getting ready to start boiling over. Um, and then what you do is you just pour it into these little, the three uh, different shapes of these trays and put it in the refrigerator for a few hours and then you take take a plate pop them onto the plate um which you could probably just you know squeeze around it says take a toothpick and go around the edges but i just you know just pop them out simple easy not a problem um 
And then it also came with a little red packet in here. And it's, I thought it was going to be powder or like a sprinkles or something, but it's actually like a little liquid. And you just, you can squirt it on there. So I just kind of squirted it on there. And of course, um, you did get these little pop out um, things to stick in here. And I did. And it looks hilarious. So I'll show you. This is what it looks like. You can see the red juice like rolling down off of that. Um, I'll take I'll take the thing out in a minute, but it looks like the kid pull, pulling down his pants and moaning somebody. So I'll take these little things out. I just wanted to show you that because it looks super funny. Watch out! Don't I'm on top of her. And then you got the um, the star here and what? the face here. And of course, like I said, and of course, here's the butt. It's like a bouncy butt. I mean, you can see that. It's funny. <laughs> Alright, dude, you want to try it? Which part, which one do you want to try? The butt? Yeah, butt. You want to try the butt? Yeah, butt. He took a bite of the butt. <laughs> I'll try this part. Tastes like vanilla pudding. But it's funny though. Look at the little butt. A little jiggly butt. <laughs> Anybody want to bite of my butt? <laughs> Here, you want you want to take the butt? Nah. You want to eat the butt, Aiden? No. Come on. No. Come on. You don't want to eat a piece of the butt? <laughs> he just wanted to try it. That's how how it was. That's pretty good. It's vanilla pudding, so it's not bad. And it was super easy to do, so except for the whole microwave problem, but <laughs> hey, that was that was okay. Um let's see. The next thing is we the Kukuman Kukuma pretzel. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Cute little bear box there with pretzel. Uh, let's see here. Do 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 Inside has the packet. These are just like pretzel sticks, basically. Which are almost like pockies, if you've ever had pockies. Except these ones don't have the, um, like, icing and stuff on them like pockies do. So it's just a regular pretzel stick. Pretzel, breadstick, whatever you want to call it. But they taste just like pockies. Minus the icing that's on them. On pockies, so... But those are good. Not too bad. Oh my god. These next things are my absolute, absolute favorite. Corn pottage puffs. Um, if you've ever had like a cream soup, these taste like creamy soup. And they are so yummy and good. Until they're just like little, little puffs. Oh, Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yummy. I love those. I can sit and eat them all day. I do actually have more in the cabinet because <laughs> we all, my whole family actually likes them. They're so good. Um, sorry, I have to drink stuff so I can actually get the different tastes out of my mouth. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to taste everything really good. Um, these next things are called pikes. Um, what are these? I don't know. Um, these are European rice snacks. Um, basically rice crackers again. Just a different type of rice cracker. Pop these open. Oh, these are cool. Just square rice crackers. They smell different than the other ones, so... They smell different, but they taste the same. Okay, this is like a regular like cracker with just like rice cracker with like a little bit of salt on it. So those are good. I like those. Okay. This usually isn't one of my things. This is usually one of my kids, but they didn't want to help do the video today, so I'm like, we gotta get these done. <laughs> um, this next thing is a strawberry like 
fruit roll up almost like their strawberry. Um, roll candy strawberry 20G. Hell it is. It's almost like fruit roll up. And it smells so good. I'm not really a fruit roll up person. I don't like those gummy things. But I'll try it. Give it a try. I'll give it a try. As you can see, it's like clear almost. It like stick right to your teeth. It tastes good, but it's not my thing. <clears throat> no. I'll give that to my kids. Um, okay. Now, the end of that is the end of everything that is in the original box. Everything else now is um, a pre in the premium box that, in, well, actually, it's just let me re say it, phrase that. Everything that I just showed you and everything I'm about to show you is in the premium box. Um, but that was everything that would be in the original box. Um, these little crackers, I have had these before too, I think. A Chaco and Pan. Um, they're just like little, uh, round, I don't know how, kind of cracker-like, uh, with chocolate in the middle of them. And they are sealed. Ooh. I thought they'd be like hard and crispy, but they're kind of like soft a little bit. Supposed to be like a cheeseburger. It's almost like a bread with like chocolate in it. I don't know. Kind of weird. That's not really my thing. Those I pass on. Um. All right. This next thing I put this in the fridge also, so it got cold. It is called pudding shake. And yes, it looks like flan pudding, and it is drinkable. Um, it says, pudding and jellies are hugely popular among all age groups in Japan. Their soft consistency and delicately sweet taste are captured in this unique drink. That's similar to an ew, aloe or boba drink, but with pudding. Shake the drink up to get bits of pudding in each sip. I don't think I'm gonna like this. I don't like chunky drinks. And I know I've tried a few, uh, me and my kids actually have tried a few drinks, uh, Japanese drinks and stuff that are, have like chunks of jelly and chunks of fruit in it and stuff. And we just did not go for it at all. Um, yeah, let's just, all right. Let's see how this is gonna be, I don't know. And it is pudding colored. I'll pour it in my cup. Ew. You can see like thickness of this. Ew. Oh. No. 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 That's just wrong. Mm -mm. That's totally wrong. It's, dry, it's like drinking pudding that hasn't like like set all the way. I don't know. It was just wrong. That's just gross. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. All right. The next thing here is I already have a bag of these open, so I'm just going to show you these. And they are, I'm not sure what kind of little candies these are, uh, lactic acid bacteria is alive. Kind of weird. Um, it says, don't let this strange name fool you. The strawberry yogurt flavored candy contains live lactic acid bacteria, which is an important probiotic for young and old. They're okay. Um, it's like little round 
strawberry hard flavored candies, kind of like. You can't really chew them up because they are hard. But they're okay. It's not, they're not even strawberry flavored. I say they're strawberry flavored, but they have like no strawberry taste to them. And they're just kind of, I don't know, they're kind of blah. I don't dig them at all. So that's really three things that I really don't like. Um, let me see here. Hum, hum, hum. Okay, let me clear some stuff out here. Ugh, that's just horrible. These next thing, these are good. Um, I'm not even going to open, well, maybe I should. I'll try them. These next things are Genji Pie. I believe that's how they say it. They are little um, cookies like. And they have like a buttery taste. Like a sweet, sugary, buttery taste. They melt. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. They melt in your mouth almost like. They're like heart shaped. They're so cute. I mean, you could eat these and, like, dip them in your coffee or something. Or just eat them with a glass of milk. Either way. But they're so good. Those are pretty good. Um. Their flaky texture and caramelized sugar exterior make it extra sweet. They're not that sweet. They're good. It has a little bit of sweetness to it, but not too much. Um. And the next thing, which is a, that is all of the um, snacks in this box. They have like a little bonus. Sometimes they do an extra bonus snack. Sometimes they do a little bonus toys. Um, go figure. It's just something weird. They, this is like bonus sushi toy. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Um, this is, yeah, I mean, you can take this little piece of sushi off. This is like a sticky, like foamy, like mold. It's like that phloem stuff. So you can like squeeze it and do anything you want to it, basically. It's almost like a stress reliever too. It's like you just want to squeeze something. But it's, it's really stiff, so it's like you really got to like work at it. But yeah, it's like a, it's like phloem. It's almost like phloem. I'm sure a lot of you people have heard of that stuff. Almost like a slimy phloem stuff, but anyway, yeah. Kind of a weird thing to send. <laughs> I mean, who's going to sit here and, you know, go for this? But anyway, that is it for my June... Um, what am I doing here? Oh, sorry. The June uh, Japan Crate box. If uh, you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. Thanks for joining me. Bye.